Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exos Years content. Today's video, we're going to discuss another maintenance update which I have been waiting for quite a long time. Not really, not really a long time, but for a few weeks now since the director's notes um, uh, were out. So without further ado, I'd like to discuss it. Um, we'll start with um, when this will drop. This will drop. This will drop actually in a couple of hours. Um, if you're here in the Philippines, um, then we will start with the new chapter 14 update. So in this chapter 14, um, I think a war is brewing. So um, be ready for this one. This will be uh, a really anticipated event. And as usual, they're going to make sure that you guys participate in this war. So the difficulty for chapters 11, 12, and 13 will be lowered or adjusted as per this update. So season 2, chapter 13, Weight in Blood is coming. So please be prepared for this one. New Fate Core update. Also the one that we've been waiting for for quite a while. So FC Shell is going to drop in this update. I'll, I'll cover her in a different video once I put out a guide on her, but I'll go run through her skills so that you'll have more or less a early vibe if you're going to summon for her or not. But I'm sure you'll be happy with this one. So, we'll see. let's see. Oh, Shell's grown up already. So, she's really a woman now. She's grown and she's so beautiful. Okay, so... Um, I, 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 I saw in one of the comments that can we feature Shell in the next summer festa for next year? Probably yes. So anyway, um, if you can see her design, uh, costume design, her overall kit, um, it's, it's kind of retro, but it feels right. So kind of mature, uh, love the colors. She also has white hair. Same as Dorka. I'm not sure if it's white or if it's blonde, but I'm sure it's it's it kind of bleach blonde. So let's move on. So again, for her fate core, for a uh, gold fate core, her stats are he starts her stats are impressive. So additional stats. Let us go through her skills in, in just a bit of a passing because we have a lot to cover in this update. So, um, for her passive, she has cleanse 3, um, our usual cleanse 3. So, but for her unique passive that was just featured here, so we have Dimension Leap, Mark increases dodge for self by 40 and attack by 1000 when attacked. So, she has to be attacked for her dodge to increase. All Dimension Leap Mark on self are removed after a successful dodge. So you have to make her a bit tanky for her to absorb attacks so that you can avail of the increased attack of 1000. But you'll also benefit from her increased dodge once she is attacked. So, so it's a bit of a cycle in terms of her uh, having to be hit and her having to dodge that hit anyway we'll cover that more in a more ex intensive or extensive guide for fc shell this one i really like her night carnival passive so overtime effect critical increase hit of all allies by 100 percent so you'll have critical hit all day so no more buffing of critical hit um, take your highest damage dealers and let them, you know, let them loose on the enemy and they will give you as much damage as they can give. And also, um, on, on this note, I think Shell will be good for probably the dragon with her granted critical hit so that most of the hits that will give to the dragon are critical hits. So we'll see. We'll see with a little bit of playtesting. And her last new unique passive is puppet show so it's a mark afflicts a charm enemy with the puppet show mark so you will need fc janai or at least janai for this one debuff 
If an en enemy marked with Puppet Show dies, reduces block of all enemies by 25%. So as soon as one enemy dies, the rest will soon follow because it reduces their block by 25%. Stacks up to 4 times, which is 100%. So, oh, I actually am... Um, this is bad for the enemy. I feel bad for them because once one of your members die, the rest will soon follow suit. Okay, so let's move on to her S1, which is last chapter. So it's a two mana skill. So deals 127% damage to all enemies. Debuff decreases attack of all enemies afflicted with charm. So it's a for me it's an automatic um, debuff. I'm uh, sorry, the, it's it's an automatic debuff. Yes, decrease attack once they are afflicted by charm. So again, it's a synergy with Janai. So you have to make sure that Janai is is really leveled up for this one. So afflicted with charm by fifty percent when the attack hits. Decreases attack of all enemies afflicted with charm by 50%. Oh, sorry. Um, so the decrease attack is a 50% decrease. So the attack must hit and for it to take effect. So you have to consider on building shell uh, with with a um, higher hit hit percentage, like equipping her with a with a what do you call this? A machine set to increase her hit. So Special, if any of the targets are already charmed, removes barrier from all charmed targets and afflicts nullify barrier for 10 turns. So this is actually very good because we have another, you know, another another hero uh, in your roster that can remove barrier aside from FC Iris. So interesting. Hmm. I ask you guys, who will you use? FC Iris or FC Shell? So that is the question if you have both of them but in any case in 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 pvp tag now you have another option to remove barriers so goodbye first guardians i'm so sorry you're all dead <laughs> okay beside that hallucinate reduces hit by 30 for four turns by afflicting the target with hallucinate mark if the target is charmed Okay, so again, it reduces the hit of uh, of the enemies. So, well, her kit is pretty much loaded, wicked, and unforgiving. I tell you, very unforgiving. Um, I I think she'll create a lot of chaos when she's out. I tell you. Okay, moving on. Um, to her S2, which is Curtain Call. So it's a single increase attack of one ally except the caster by 25% of own attack for seven turns. So removes all status effects from the target. Mm -hmm. Gains gains mana, three mana. Mm, three mana, what can I do with three mana? Oh, a lot of things. So anyway, um, this synergizes well with um, Come to think of it, Schmid. Schmid's reset attack. I think this would be very good. Plus, you give this to Awaken Zeon. Oh my god, this is gonna hurt. This is really gonna hurt. Hurt. Oh my god. Anyway, um, this pretty much is very good. It also mirrors what FC Iris gives, which is mana. FC Iris gives two to all. She gives one. She gives three mana to one. One hero. So this is gonna be a good, you know, flexibility in your lineup as well. Next is special grand status effect immunity. One time to the target and repeats the target's turn. Oh, again, again, target reset. Resets one per round. Once per round. So um going back and realizing that this is her kit and just to you know give an additional insight night carnival is going to be a blast for fc tandalo that as well so my thoughts on her initially is 
her kit is good very good way good um unfortunately if you don't have fcg9 you're going to suffer with some of the effects here like puppet show and for last chapter but it's not really a significant decrease let's say a decrease of 20 percent of what she's capable of she's still good um even if without fcg9 but if you have fcg9 like i have oh my god i'm so thankful that i leveled up fcg9 so much <laughs> anyway um i'm so happy that, that that she's out and 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 this the charm synergy will again come to life with shell having this i'll i'll get out an extensive guide on her don't worry as soon as i have her i'll try to summon for her guys um watch out for my summon video for fc shell so again for you to get fc shell it's a 0.5 percent oh my god 0.5 percent chance to get her again 28 core mileages for a gold fate core and i'm sure i'm going to pity her i think so i think i'm going to pity her um but we'll see we'll see we'll see i hope i get her early okay and she also has her exclusive weapon so chance increase black mephisto shell so again for any fate core weapon i don't encourage you guys to pull for this one but if you have that much zest try to this is just for me an additional 3000 3000 combat points um for for your character for your for a hero so it's also a 0.5 percent drop rate so um not not too not a big fan of this one so might as well skip this one please but if you have a lot of says then go for it okay moving on eternal bond update <clears throat> this was also what i was i was looking forward to um the new content which you have obtained fated heroes will be added so i think this is only will only be for fated heroes so i think the first ones that will be released is either schmidt or Jinai. so again you have a chance to get Jinai if you don't have her this is actually good for those who didn't weren't able to pull for fc Jinai's banner now is the time to get her but if you have then you know have a bond with schmidt because for me i don't have schmidt yet so i'll, I'll go for schmidt so this now is after 30 consecutive logins the last one was i think they the what they released was five so what happened anyway it's now 30 consecutive logins which is i think okay for for faded generals so so fraternal bond and login exos every exo, exos heroes every day to get daily attendance reward and hero you will have and the hero you have the and the hero you have chosen okay a consecutive login is needed to maintain the bond the broken bond can be removed by using certain amount of zest so for you to have this and for you not to be penalized please make sure that you um that you for example continue this on a daily basis for 30 days okay moving on um this will be unlocked after uh, the story one to two okay chapters one i think episode two okay so moving on so a niche potential will be out as well for your fated heroes or your fated generals so they will become more powerful than before um unleashing um additional um additional um additional stats and additional skills or improved skills that is so next would be your pvp content improvement um this simply is a is a um make this is making sure that the game doesn't prolong and um um, at certain times in the game, um, you will be dealt damage so that the game quickens. So there's, there's a penalty damage for, for, for extended duration in the game. So PvP now will turn into more fast-paced game. Um, that is what I see here. 
So it includes as well the Benstunier Air Squadron Battle Coliseum and Daily Tournament, apparently. So I thought this was only applicable to the Benstunier, but um, this applies to this content as well, all four. Okay, the next would be your Air Squadron support update. So we can now exchange materials uh, within your Air Squadron. Okay, you can select material in need and call for a quest once a day. Okay, newly joined members can request material starting from the next day of their joining date. Okay, next moving on, we'll have a new core memory which involves, I think, three new characters which is Shell, Chatty, and Corgi. So all of them have grown up as well. <laughs> Next would be your lucky box update. So it will be which you can obtain hidden rewards in the shop. You can get random gifts such as zest, gold, special product purchase when you access the shop once a day. Um, Define access. I think this is maybe just by visiting it or hopefully um, not just purchasing anything because mo some players are free to play. So. I hope this is just visiting the shop, not just not specifically purchasing anything. Okay, so we have another set of um, gifts from Leafy. So seven days for newcomers. Newcomers will have another set of new gifts with better rewards. So check this out, guys. I won't. I won't really um, go through the rewards. Also for returning players who have haven't cleared yet 10 10 12 and for those who have cleared 10 12 chapter 10 episode 12 i think so good rewards better you know better avail this one come to think of it i should have you know i should have left my free to play um account alone because i went back a couple of days ago just to get dorka so i won't be able to get these anymore so anyway Anyway, that's past already. So let's move on. Convenience improvement updates. Automatic daily quests. Okay. So your daily quest will be... will be You can do an auto on them already. Not do... Uh, not do it um, bit by bit. Everything. Repetitive content. So this is good. Automatic daily quest. Dispatch report. So notify you on when your dispatches have have been finished okay what else daily challenge content stage merge and improvements i've i've checked this already and um, the the levels or the levels have been shortened to four previously these were these were seven so this is good because they're trying to streamline the game in terms of levels and new players will benefit from this one, I'm sure. So manage heroes again this is a good um, improvement in in you know in in transcending um, your heroes because it <laughs> again great great improvement in the way of life of of sorry of the quality of life of of, of Exos Heroes players. Transcending uh, multiple copies at once. Inventory. Again, I mentioned this before in the director's notes. So good that they're no longer counting equipped, um, equipped uh, what do you call this? Equipped weapons and gear in your inventory. So they're taking them out. So this is a great improvement, especially for new players. I've had, I have had a, I've had a problem with this for such a long time since I started playing the game, ever since Google launch. So shop catalog improvements. So this one, I hope they they realize that they have they have done a pretty much good job on this because since the game started, the shop sucked. So it didn't have didn't have good good uh, packages, good promos. So I hope this one is really an improvement. I'll have a review in the new shop in the future. Okay, so air squadron donation function change, world content improvement, story improvement, and all of the small improvements that they have so far. I think this update is really spot on. 
especially for for the new 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 players and uh, returning players um the game has actually been improving for quite a while and i really love this game and i hope you do too so again for comments on this video for comments on the new update please put them down below please don't forget to make sure to support and subscribe to my channel all stay safe this is the warden and i'm out